Good morning and welcome to Haywire Homestead. This morning I'm getting ready to make some gluten-free, uh, well you wouldn't really call them biscuits, but they're kind of like a roll. Um, you can actually make them in a loaf pan with a little bit of parchment paper to keep it from sticking. Um, but we just prefer to do it as almost like a roll or a biscuit or a muffin kind of thing. Um, these silicone pans work great. They pop right out. No sticking, no issues. I absolutely love them. So this is what actually I use when I bake them. Um, if you have a nut allergy, this isn't going to be for you because it does have almond flour in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to do the dry ingredients. For the dry ingredients, I need... Oh, there's my measuring cups. So for the dry ingredients, I am going to need a cup of blanched almond flour. Um, I usually pick it up at Sam's and get a big bag of it. Not too terribly expensive. And then I'm going to need a cup and a half of arrowroot powder. Um, arrowroot, you can buy it in little tiny containers in the spice area, but if you look, um, usually like the Kroger, probably Whole Foods, um, somewhere like that is going to have bigger bags of arrowroot powder. Also, you can order it on Amazon. You're going to need a cup and a half. So we're going to put this all in a food processor. It's the easiest way to mix it. So a cup and a half of arrowroot. <clears throat> Get those out of my way. And we're also going to need three teaspoons of baking powder. It's been a little bit since I've made this, so I actually have to look at the recipe. So three teaspoons of baking powder. See here, one to two teaspoons of salt. Um, it does say Himalayan sea salt, but I'm actually out of that right now, so I'm just using a little bit of kosher. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to do about one and a half. I don't like to do a ton of salt. And then we're just going to pulse this really quick. Just to get it incorporated. All right, the next things we're going to need, we're going to need four eggs and four egg whites. So eggs, and I have a ton of them right now because my hens are laying like crazy. Four eggs. And then we'll do the egg yolks, or I'm sorry, the egg whites. So you need four egg whites. I save the yolks. Um, sometimes I freeze them, and I'll add them in. Um, you can use them for making custards and things like that. Four egg whites. Now, next thing you're going to want to use is four tablespoons. It calls for walnut oil. Um, I usually just use olive oil. One, two, three, four. Get about a tablespoon of raw organic honey. And mine actually came from the Amish right down by Doug and Stacy's when I was down visiting. I decided to pick up a little bit of honey. So. And it also calls for a tablespoon of chia seeds. I usually just put, um, okay, so one of the last things that 
it has is you need a tablespoon of chia seeds. Um, sometimes I use black seeds in it. They work also very well. So that, then we're going to pulse it until it's incorporated. silicone pan you can use a regular pan but you're going to have to grease it um, I find that just a little bit of ghee brushed in works the best for um, if you're doing a muffin pan um, if you're doing a uh, loaf pan parchment paper um, I've even cut little rounds of parchment paper and stuck them on the bottom of my biscuit pans or my, my muffin pans when I was using a regular one and that helps because it seems to be that where they stick the most is on the bottom and then you're going to fill up about two thirds of the way full in each one. It makes about mm, a dozen muffins. Sometimes I get 12 or 14 one time I had mixed up the batter and I had to leave and I put the first batch in the oven and my 19 year old who had never made these before I told him what to do well he didn't fill them up two-thirds of the way he actually just filled them up maybe I don't know a third and it was really funny because when we came home I had like 24 little teeny tiny short one inch tall little rolls or biscuits or muffins whatever you want to call them so it was kind of funny so I'm also going to post a link to the recipe in the description below so you guys can refer to that. But we're going to go ahead and pop these in the oven at 350 degrees. And they, um, if it's a loaf that you're making, they take about 35 to 45 minutes. Um, everybody's oven's a little bit different. Mine, I think it runs a little bit cooler. So my, whenever I was making them in the loaf pan, they always seem to take closer to 50 minutes um, for the muffins since i just started doing that myself they probably take about 15 minutes uh, just until they've risen up and they're nice and golden brown um, golden brown and that's when they're done all right it's been about 15 minutes so we're going to go ahead and take a peek and see if they're ready and it looks like they're nice and golden in there so we're going to take them out pop them out and then we'll start the next batch 